children's playground, which one local mum has described as an absolute disgrace and a big hazard. East Riding of Yorkshire Council said they hope to improve the derelict looking park in Station Avenue during next year. A seriously ill kidney patient has described an experience of being taken to Scarborough Hospital for treatment. Ken Utley's emergency ambulance was an hour late. Beds were in short supply and the x-ray room had insects roaming about the floor. When his mother rang to see how he was, she was told he couldn't be found and that they would ring her back. Three villagers were left without their mobile post office van for a week while it had a faulty electric socket repaired with a patch of sticky tape. Driver and sub-postmistress Julie Lowther resigned over the poor service she was able to give her customers, which left pensioners without money for Christmas shopping. Bridlington's Woolworth store had, has had a busy time as bargain hunters flooded in for closing down sale offers. The Prince Street shop, like more than 800 others across Britain, was selling off stock at up to half price ahead of the chain's slightly closure. The credit crunch has left Bridlington's Citizens Advice Office inundated with homeowners, credit card users and others who are struggling with debt. According to one member of staff at the Prospect Arcade office, it's handling more people with money problems than at any time in the last 15 years. Magical was how one visitor described Old Town's Dickensian Christmas Festival. The annual event had its best turnout of visitors on Sunday to experience the real sense of Christmas spirit. A highlight was the procession from a carol concert at the Priory, led by a horse-drawn carriage bringing spa panto stars Paul Daniels and Debbie McGee. Bread's best dining experience is Yip's Chinese Restaurant. The Southcliffe Road Eatery was voted outright winner in the awards scheme introduced by Bridlington's Hotel and Guest House Association. 78-year-old Olive Bailey of Barmston has had the best Christmas present ever. She has been able to move back into her cottage after it was flooded in June last year. Olive has spent the last 18 months living in a caravan near the local pub and is delighted to be back in her home she has had for 32 years. Happy Christmas, Olive. And finally, for sports fans, there's a full page of competitions in tomorrow's free press with a chance to win sporting videos, sports quiz books and a free £20 bet on the football. And that's it for this week's Brid TV News. There's all those stories and more in tomorrow's free press. That's it for us this week, but we'd like to wish you all a, a Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Bye for now. Bye.